thanks for coming. So how many of you have actually heard of central sensitization before? Oh, not bad, not bad. How many have not? Okay, not bad. You know, I've actually given this lecture for years, or a modification of this lecture for years. And um, when I first started giving this lecture, maybe, uh, you know, I don't know, whatever, five years ago or something like that, um, most people were not very familiar with the term or ha maybe had not heard of the term. And to see most of the audience raise their hand, I, I, it's, that's a very satisfying feeling, I, really, I got to tell you. Because what that means is that as a community, we've all made a little more progress in terms of education um, about the different t types of pain that exist. How many have heard of ketamine infusions? Holy cow, this is amazing. That's like almost everybody. Wow, this is awesome. So ketamine infusions, just to give you a frame of reference, I've been uh, performing those for about 12 years now. And uh, to our knowledge, we had the first um, anesthesia interventional pain-based ketamine infusion program um, out of a surgery center uh, in America. And that was set up many, many years ago. And uh, we've actually uh, had the good fortune of doing ketamine infusions uh, for certain conditions, uh, to, to our knowledge, again, before before anyone else. And uh, when, when we were doing those, I mean, even when, even for years afterwards, you know, a lot of people would look at, at, at these infusions and say it's a bunch of crock. Uh, this is a bunch of baloney. But obviously the patients were saying the exact opposite story. And so to see all those hands go up and, and at least uh, uh, of, of people who have at least heard of these two terms or these two, um, uh, you know, conditions or, or treatments, uh, again, is very nice. I want to today talk to you about Central sensitization. What is it? What does it actually mean? Let's go over some of the science. Right, so that way, hopefully, when you walk out of here, you'll have a really good idea of what it is. So if anyone ever questions you, you'll be able to really respond intelligently and shut down their uh, myths and their uh, false beliefs. And secondly, talk a little about ketamine infusions, give you a little bit of the science behind ketamine, and uh, talk about you know, what are these infusions, what, what, how are they done, and, and what kind of results do we typically see in the appropriate patients. Um, I have nothing to disclose for this presentation. I want to talk again about the landscape of pain management, the various types of pain, central sensitization, ketamine as a mechanism, ketamine as a treatment, and then finally, and arguably one of the most important points, what are the challenges or the barriers to treatment? Um, this uh, has always been a problem, especially many years ago, and it continues to be a problem, but from the looks of it, um, parts of it are not as big of a problem because one of the biggest problems we've had is awareness and it looks like you all are pretty aware which is again really satisfying standing up here right now. I've never seen a show of hands at 90-95% so you should all be proud of yourself so thank you.